Hey guys, this is Pavel and I would love to tell you today about social selling. Is it a thing or is it a fad? So what actually social selling is and if it's possible? So you could ask the diehard sales, they would probably argue and tell you that it's not a thing and basically it's just a gimmick. On the opposite side, we have people who have been living and breathing social media since it became to happen and they will argue that this is the only way to sell. So how is it? Well, the truth always lies in the middle. Social media platforms have been there for ages and corporates are being used to use them quite often. So we can use social media platforms to gain our brand awareness. Whenever we are a person or a corporate, you can use and facilitate social media platforms just for the sake of brand awareness. As you probably came across a saying that a person needs to be touch base at least a couple of times before they make a purchase, that's a, that's a fact. You can leverage social media just for that. So having in mind what Jeb Bland said about how many touch points a person needs to have to make a purchase, like existing customer needs to be touch base like at least two to seven times before they will make a decision and make a purchase. For a person that you never came across, so probably anyone on social media, you need to spend at least 20 up to 40 different touch points to make them make up their mind and to think about your product that they want to buy. So having that in mind, uh, what touch point mean is any way and any form of communication that a specific potential customer will come across while making their purchasing decision. So whenever, if it's an email, a phone call, uh, a billboard, uh, or maybe just a sign just above the entrance to your office. Also LinkedIn, social media, Facebook, TikTok, any way of communication together with Facebook ads and Google ads. These are the touch points that you need to take into consideration while approach, approaching a specific prospect. So whenever you want to make a sale, the purchaser needs to come across a specific amount of time to see your product, to see your company, to see your goal and to see your mission. So they need to be convinced and they need to trust you. So like in every day, like if you want to build a credible and stable relationship and to build a trust among two different people, you cannot make it happen on one meeting. You cannot happen it in one go. You need to be aware that you need to meet with that person, exchange phone calls, exchange some emails to actually build a credibility, to actually try to gain a little bit of trust. Today, I came across a discussion on LinkedIn uh, made by a, a sales trainer, which is kind of interesting because the sales trainer posted info on how to sell on LinkedIn. First of all, you can't sell on LinkedIn. Secondary, you can't sell on any social media platform. That's a fact. People make a sale, people make a purchase. One thing that you can do on social media, like LinkedIn, is to build your credibility. You can build brand awareness. You can build trust. And these are the means for you to go out there, make a phone call, have a meeting, send an email, an inquiry about a sale, a product that you have. If you gained enough credibility, if you gained enough of trust, that person actually might consider having you on the meeting and discussing a specific purchase from you. Even even when you are buying and selling through Facebook, like Facebook ads, you're buying on their website. So the website itself has to have enough credibility to make up your mind to make a purchase. It never happens instantly. So obviously the sales trainer has the best possible way to attract customers through LinkedIn, as there are a lot of sales professionals that actually seek for help, seek for advice, seek for additional information about how to sell better because everyone struggles, everyone struggles to prospect. That's why the sales trainer posted an easy, really relatable post on how to sell on LinkedIn. Because like everyone wants to take shortcuts, everyone would like to have this magic pill, magic potion that will make you sell better, more efficient, to nail on each and every contact. But here's the truth, it will not gonna happen. LinkedIn is just a means for you to convince people to have a proper chat with you. So obviously, if you are a professional and your product is for professionals and you can find them on LinkedIn, 
Definitely, first what you need to do is to check if the social media that you are planning to use has the means to transfer your speech to people that actually matter to you. If you are selling shoes, you will not probably find people on LinkedIn unless your product is a top-notch, no, top really high-quality product that is advertised for sales professionals that actually has money. But if you sell t-shirts with emblems or any other memes on the t-shirts, you probably will not find people on LinkedIn that you would like to speak to. Then choose like TikTok, Facebook, whatever. So if we have already defined that the platform that you are seeking for has the potential, who is your customer? What is the language of your customer? What your customer is interested in? Does he want to receive like spam information about your product? Obviously not but definitely he would like or she would like to hear about how your product is solving issues that they might be having. So for obvious reason, you need to be on the platform that actually you have the matching audience. Then selling is possible. First of all, if you think about reaching out to any audience on any social platform, you need to build credibility from the basic stuff. You need a very professional photo. Depending on what you're doing, the photo needs to match your role. If you have an empty profile, the same issue arises. No one will trust you. You need to build trust through your descriptions because this is the only way in the beginning you can gain trust from people who don't know you at all. It's very important you will share anything which relates your audience interests and it can be even better if that correlates with the product that you are selling. So whenever you communicate with your desired audience, you need to think that not only they're interested in the content that you're posting, but they are also interested in the feedback to the content that they post. So you need to be mindful about commenting their stuff. And last but not least, definitely not try to sell on LinkedIn like the sales trainers advise you to. Like no one likes to be sold on LinkedIn or on any other platform. So don't even try to approach anyone on LinkedIn trying to sell them stuff. No one will answer no one will care you will be doomed okay guys thanks very much i hope that i explained a little bit about linkedin and how you can't sell on linkedin and what should you do on linkedin or maybe not on linkedin because never know you might not have your people and your audience on linkedin so um yeah okay guys um hope you enjoyed the video so yeah thanks